Like always, if you don't have the art workbook, just using a blank sheet of paper will work just as fine. And you're going to flip to the page that looks kind of like, kind of like this. It says, I can learn space and has a picture of a house. This is where we left off. We did not do this page yet. I'm just looking ahead. All right, we don't have that many pages left, but this is what we have to do. And again, if you don't have the workbook, a blank sheet of paper will work fine. All right, I see some more people logging on, which is great. Hi, Karina. Okay. So, I want to talk about the element of art, which is space. And it refers to uh, an image or a picture. It's basically referring to the whole thing and how it's laid out. And that's all I'll say for first grade. Let's read what it says on top. So please make sure you're paying very close attention because I'm going to ask two questions afterwards. So here we go. In art, objects that are near are drawn large and closer to the bottom of the page. Objects that are far are drawn small and closer to the top of the page. Then the directions are, finish this drawing, draw one object near and one object far. All right, my first question, if I were to draw something near to us, if we're looking at a page, what size should it be? Anyone know? You may raise your hand. What size should something be if you're trying to draw something that's near to you? What size should it be? Page. Large. Good job. It should be large. And also, just to add to her, it also has to be closer to the bottom of the page. All right, next question. If I was to draw something really far away, what size should it be? If I had to draw something really far away, what size should the object be? Anyone know? I'm going to pick Brian. Medium? Okay, it could be medium to uh, to small. Good job. That was a very tricky question, I guess. All right, just to add to Brian's answer, if it has to be far, it has to be small and closer to the top of the page, okay? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I did an example with the last class, so I'm just gonna show it to you guys. So I pretended that I didn't have the packet and I did it on a blank sheet of paper. So it's very similar to the one that we just have in our workbook. And what I did, was that if you look over here, I drew two, well, I should say three trees, I should say. So the tree that's further away is smaller, just like so. And I drew it on that line. And then the tree that is closer to us is way bigger than the other tree. And it's closer to the bottom of the page, just like so. All right, so what you're going to do, you don't have to draw trees if you don't want to, but I think I'm going to do it again. I think I might draw a different tree this time, but this is what I want you to do. It's asking us to draw one object near and one object far. I want you guys to follow those directions. So I'm going to draw one object near. So maybe I'll draw a tree again. So if you want to draw something else, you guys can. I'm going to draw a different type of tree this time. I'm going to draw a pine tree. And then I'm going to draw one object far. So I'm going to draw a smaller tree. There we are. So what I want you to do is that. Draw one object near and one object far. OK? And it looks like those are the only directions that it tells us to do. At this time, once you're done with your objects, you may start decorating the page any way you want. So if you want to add like hills or clouds or anything like that, or a lake, you can. I can show you one more trick, though. All right, I'm going to show you guys a trick. How to draw a sidewalk getting closer to you. So just like how it says over here, or how I drew over here on this side, 
if you want to draw something closer and further away, it has to get smaller or larger. So if I were to do a sidewalk from the door towards us, I have to draw lines going away from each other just like this. Okay, so that's my little trick for you guys. So notice how the sidewalk is smaller, but as it gets further away, it gets wider. So that's a cool trick. And I'm gonna draw horizontal lines and it's gonna get further and further away from each other just like that. Pretty cool, huh? So right now you guys should be decorating your picture any way you want. If you wanna add more stuff that's near and further away, you can. So if you look at my other drawing I did from last class, I even added a tree, even smaller. I just added more hills in the background and I drew a smaller tree on it. If you wanna do that, you can. So right now, all you should be doing is creating more picture in the back. I want to make mine a tad bit more different than my other one. Maybe I want to add a sunset right in the middle right here. There we go. You guys have plenty of time to do this. And if you don't have time and you run out, you can always do it after class. If you don't have art or if you don't have another special to go to. All right, there we go. Neat. If you want to draw a garage, you can. If you want to draw a lake, like how I did. I did a lake on this one. I could try to draw a garage. Let's see. There you go. I try to draw a garage. All right. You guys can continue working. I'm going to keep adding more stuff, though. I want way more trees over here. We have a little under five minutes left. If you want to share yours early, you want to hold it up to the camera like how Kathy's doing. You could do that if you'd like. Nice job, Kathy. Good job. Oh, you fully colored it. You colored it more than I did. Good work. Keep working, guys. Otherwise, if you want to share it with us, you can. I see um, Rovio and Arohi are sharing theirs. Awesome. Zalola, do you have a question? What's your question? Um, can I use a marker? Yeah, sure. You can use anything you want that you have. During remote learning, uh, you just use any supplies that you have. That's why my lessons are kind of simple. Otherwise, I'd be doing clay and uh, paint with you guys. But I understand certain situations. So that's why we don't do those supplies. Good job, everybody. Oh, I see um, Oliver, uh, you're drawing, nice job. Ellie, I see yours, good job. Kathy's showing hers again, really cool. Oh, and Nathan, awesome job. Oh, I like how you called your house. Nice job, that's awesome. I wish I thought of that. You want to add stuff to the house too? I guess you could do that too. If you want to add like a second floor, I guess. Pretty, pretty neat. 
Time now is 9.57, by the way. We will be leaving in a little bit. Let's see who else is showing me their work. Owen, nice job. Brian, oh, you made yours nighttime. Cool, I see you added the stars in the background. Pretty neat. That's different than creative. Dietrich, nice job. Awesome. Good job, everybody. All right, I'm going to turn my camera around because it doesn't look like anyone's looking at my screen anymore. Oh, Narayanan, awesome. I see yours. I see yours holding it up and it looks great. Owen, did you have a question? What's your question? So on the weekend, I'm going to Georgia to see my grandparents. Cool, that's an awesome question. All right, you guys are all so great. All right, um, oh, Nathan did some more work. Nice job. Uh, Kayla, nice, I see yours, cool. And you were able to do it on a bigger sheet of paper. That's awesome. All right. It looks like a lot of people are still working, which is great. If you guys want to keep working, that's fine. Rovial, I see yours too. Great job. All right. I'm not leaving yet, but I am going to stop the recording now.